the Islamic Center of Tennessee presents In Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina fa innahu man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lah wa man yudlil falan tajida lahu waliyan murshida wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdah la sharika lah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh خير من صلى وصام وخير من عبد رب الأنام فصلوات ربي وسلامه عليه يقول الله تعالى في محكم تنزيله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجمعني وإياكم في دار كرامته غدا في جنة عرضها السماوات والأرض وأسأل الله تعالى أن يجعل أعمالنا خالصة لوجهه يا كريم My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam As you know that the exams of the school are about to start Some of them are finished the college students finish their exams. The exams give us a lesson. We need, we need to reflect and ponder upon the exams that we have in this, dunya, in this dunya. The first and foremost thing that the exams teach us that we have a patient. We can be patient if we want to be patient. We spend a lot of time studying for the exams, which something is praiseworthy something that every one of us should do. But if we flip the coin, why don't we have that patience? Why don't we have that self-control when it comes to the Akhirah? When it comes to preparing for the exam of the hereafter, which will be more scary than the exams in this dunya. Some of us, we make dua in the times of exams. We always make dua to Allah in the times of difficulty, so Allah makes easy for us, which something right, something praiseworthy. But why we don't make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the year when we need all the time we need Allah to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Mas'ud said that when the servant of Allah makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if that servant used to make dua to Allah in the time of ease, in the time of rakha, in the time of the luxury, the angels of Allah will say when he makes dua in the time of difficult, Ya Rabbi, hadha sawtun ma'roof fayashma'oon lah. They will say, Oh Allah, this sound, this voice making dua to you, He's a well-known sound. We know him. He used to make dua to you all the time. And they will intercede for that person. They will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make easy for them. Also, when the servant of Allah, who do not make dua except in the time of difficulty, makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels of Allah will say, هَذَا صَوْتٌ غَيْرُ معروف. This sound, this voice of dua is a voice that is not known. Then they will not intercede for that person. They will not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to answer his dua. It's okay to make dua in the time of difficulties. But if we flip the, the, the coin, we also need to make dua to Allah in the times of easy. The exams that go on these this days, even the middle the middle exams, even the half-term exams, middle school exams, 
that will alert the entire house. The entire house will cancel all the visitations. They will make sure that the students, the entire people will be, the entire people in the house will focus, try to help the child, the baby. They will try to help him so that he can pass this test. So why don't we do the same for the exams of hereafter? Why don't we raise our kids so that they can prepare for the exams? Why don't we connect the two exams, the exams of this dunya and the exams of hereafter? Because the exams of hereafter is the only reason that Allah had created us. Allah said in the Quran, الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم Allah is the one who created the death and life. The reason Allah Mulamu Sababiya, the reason so that Allah tests us. So Allah tests us who's the best in a'mal in here after. And Allah said in another ayah in the Quran, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ we shall test you, test after test, until we know those who strive for the sake of Allah, and until we figure out, until we know your entire affairs. So every single thing in this dunya, every movement that we do, every word that we say, every action that we do is a test. Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testing us so that he can see the way we reflect, the way we do. My beloved brothers and sisters, the scenes of the exams, when we see the students preparing for their exams, when we see everyone is trying and everyone is scared in the exams days, will remind us another scene, which is more scary than that scene, which is the scene of Al-Akhirah, the scene of the exam of hereafter, which is more important, which is more important than the exams of this dunya. If you do not pass in the exams of this dunya, you may have second chance, third chance, fourth chance, as much as you want. But the exams of the hereafter is one time. Once you fail, you fail forever. You're going to go for failure forever in the hereafter. وَالْعِيَادُ billah. There would be a lot of questions. In terms of questions, there will be a lot of questions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask us about everything. So why don't we, we shouldn't, why don't we raise our kids? Why don't we remind at least our kids when they're having exams that there would be exams that they would know second chance for that exam and help them raise them so they could prepare for that exam. In the term of the curriculum, the exams of this dunya, the exams of this dunya will be about one book, about a certain chapters, about a certain page. But the exams of hereafter would be about a book that you wrote. You are the author of that book. A book does not leave anything, whether minor or major. Every single thing that you do in this dunya will be in that book. The day you were born until the day you die, that book is written every single moment in your life. That would be about the exams of hereafter. Allah said in the Quran, The day of judgment, the scale will be brought. And Allah says in another ayah, The record of the day of judgment will be brought, will be open. The sinners, the criminals, will be fearful to see what is in that book because they know what they have done in this dunya. They will say, woe to us. What is this book? What type of book is this which do not leave entire anything out of it? The small and the big thing, every single thing that we have done in the life is in this book. What book is this? Then Allah says, they have seen whatever they have done in this dunya in front of them in that book that will be the examine of the book that will be question us by Allah if I would tell you your phone is recorded your phone is spied on somebody is observing your phone you would watch what you would say in your phone even you would not say any word that the people may interpret into something else what about 
if the raqib, the observer, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who does not sleep, the one who does not make mistake, the one who does not forget, Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا indeed, indeed, Allah is the one who is observing of you. My beloved brothers and sisters, our deeds, whatever we do in this dunya, is recorded the way we record in the day the khutbah. Every single thing that we do will be recorded and you will watch in front of you in the day of judgment. Every single thing that you do would be in front of you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. In the terms of questions, there will be a lot of questions in the exam of hereafter. In this exam, you may get 10, maybe 20, it's no more than that. But the exams of here after, there will be a lot of questions. Allah said, يَوْمَ يَبْعَثُهُمُ اللَّهُ جَمِيعًا فَيُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا أَحْصَاهُ اللَّهُ وَنَسُوهُ Allah says, when they will be resurrected in the day of judgment, all of them, they will be resurrected, and Allah will inform them about what they have done in this life. And Allah had enumerated them all. And Allah, He had saved all of them. But the people, they forgot. Allah says, وَنَسُوا But we forgot we have done everything that we forgot and we did in this dunya is going to be in, a, in, in front of us in the day of judgment. There would be a lot of questions. We will be detained on that day. Allah says in the Quran, وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّكُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ Allah says to his angels, detain them, bring them forward, let them be interrogated today. There would be a lot of questions in that exam. The, 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 the prophets of Allah, the messengers even, will be questioned. Allah says, فَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ We shall question. Those we said to them, we should question the messengers of Allah. Even if the messengers of Allah is receiving questions, what's going to be the situation of yourself, the situation of myself in the day of judgment? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to survive us. There will be questions about our prayers. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَوَّلُ مَا يُحَاسَبُ بِهِ الْعَبْدُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ الصَّلَاةِ the first and foremost thing in the day of judgment that will be questioned is our salah. If we pass our salah, the rest will be easier. But if we do not pass our salah, the rest will be worse. And there will be questions, especially there will be four questions. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, لا تزول قدم عبد يوم القيامة حتى يسأل عن أربع the servant of Allah's foot will not be removed from the mahshar, from the place of the gathering in the day of judgment until he is questioned and arba, about four things. An umrihi fi ma'afna. He will be asked about his life, how he ended it, how he finished it. Wa an jasadihi fi mabla and his body and how he used it. Wa an mali, your money, your wealth will be asked about you. The way how you earned it and the way you spent it, whether you spent it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. About your deeds, about your ilm, what if about the knowledge, if Allah had given you a knowledge, if you reflect upon it, if you act upon your knowledge or not. This is about the questions. What about the place where it will be questioned? The exams of this dunya will be in a place very comfortable place, the ACs are on, the lights are full, the chairs are very comfortable, the tables are clean and night. What about the exams of the hereafter? The exams of hereafter will be in different earth than this earth. Allah said in the Quran, يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضُ وَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ Remember, be aware, get ready for a day where the earth will be replaced by another earth and the heavens will be replaced by another heaven and they will all be gathered, stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one, the powerful in front of Allah. Because of the environment of that day, 
because of the situation of that day, the little kids, the newly born baby, will grow his hair great. Allah said in the Quran, فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِن كَفَرْتُمْ يَوْمًا يَجْعَلُ الْوِلْدَانَ شِيبًا How are you going to say you fear Allah if you disbelieved? A day where the newly born will grow his hair gray. How is going to be the situation in that exam? It's not going to be about second grade, third grade. It's not going to be about that. It's going to be to all people. The day where Allah will gather the former people and the later people, all of them, they will be gathered in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will be gathered in front of Allah barefoot. They will be gathered in front of Allah naked, uncircumcised. Aisha asked when the Prophet ﷺ told her about this, wouldn't the people look one another in that day if they come naked? Then the Prophet wasallam to say to Aisha, the situation, the problem is worse than that. It's worse. Nobody could be able to focus or look to one another because of the trouble of that day. That day, the earth will change. Allah said, Either shamsu kuwirat. The day of judgment, the sun will be wrapped up. Wa idha nujumun kadarat. The stars will fall down. Wa idha jibalu suyirat. The mountains, very big mountains in this world, will be removed away from the earth. Wa idha al-isharu uttilat. The female camel who is pregnant will be neglected by her master. The Arabs used to like camels. That's why the examples is that there. The wild beast animals will be gathered in front of Allah. It's going to be different. It's going to be, everyone will be confused on that day. Allah said in the Quran, it's going to be a day you will see the nursing mother will be distracted from her own baby, the baby that she's nursing. The pregnant woman will abort her baby. And you will see the people sukara. You will see them as they are intoxicated, as they are drunk, but they are not drunk because the punishment of Allah is so severe on that day. The exams of hereafter, the situation, the environment will be on that environment. The hearts will be fearful, fearful on that day. The sights will be cast down. Everyone is looking down. And all the nations, every single one, will stand, will fall to his knee because of the situation of that day. It's a day that Allah would question about everything that we do. Allah said, يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْضَرًا وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا وَيُحَذِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ The day of judgment is going to be a day where every soul will see what they have done in this dunya. Every single thing that you do in this dunya will be in front of you in the day of judgment. Even a word, even a movement that you do, you do wrongly, you'll see it in front of you. And you wish your bad deeds, the old evil thing that you used to do, the old thing that you used to do that was not pleasing Allah, you wish that they to be, to be away from you, that, but they will not be away from you. That's about the place. What about the timing? Come back to the exams of this dunya. How long you may have the exam? An hour, two hours, three hours, maximum four hours. The day of judgment, the exam of the day of judgment will last for a day which is equal to 50,000 days. 50,000 of our days. Not five hours, it's not 50,000. 
كان مقداره 50 الف سنه 50000 days of our days they will be interrogated 50000 days and when the sinners when the criminals stand up in that day they will see this dunya the life they spent in this dunya is like one hour for them وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ يُقْسِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ مَا لَبِثُوا غَيْرَ سَاعًا When the hour was established, they will swear to Allah that they did not stay to this world except an hour. Except an hour compared to that day, it will be like an hour for them standing for that day. That day is so long. It is that we need to raise our kids. We need to prepare and raise our kids to let them know the purpose that they have been created for. What about the muraqib, the person who is observing that exam? The exam of this dunya. Muraqib is a human being like you. He forgets. He gets busy. He cannot cover the entire room. He doesn't know every single that the people do in the exams. But the muraqib, the observer, of here after is Allah Jalla Jalalu, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the one who does not forget, the one who does not make a mistake, the one who does not sleep, the one who does not even have the closest thing to sleep, the one who knows, sees everything, is going to be about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Nothing will be absent from Allah's knowledge, even if it's Mithqala, Dharra, and Atom Way. He is going to be the Muraqib. Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hayy al-qayyum Allah, there is no deity except him Al-hayy, ever living, is going to be the muraqib, the observer Al-qayyum, the one, the sustainer, is going to be the muraqib on that day Aqoolu ma tisma'oon Astaghfirullah alayhi wa alaykum Astaghfirullah الحمد لله العلي الأرفق وجامع الأشياء والمفرق ذي النعم الظاهرة الكثيرة والحكم الباهرة الكبيرة الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله to proceed the same topic which is the comparison between the exams of this dunya and the exams of hereafter. The only thing that they share, if they share anything, is a name. Both are called exam. But they are totally opposite. Now let us come to the success. The success of the exams in this life is going to be getting degrees. You're going to get a bachelor degree. You're going to get master degree. You're going to get PhD, which is something praiseworthy, something good. And all the Muslims in the community should have degrees, should, be, should have a knowledge so that they can beat the others. I'm not trying to downgrade those who are educated, those who are learned. But I'm trying to, to compare that to the hereafter, which there will be much, a lot different between one another. The success of the hereafter will be a Jannah. It's going to be a real success. It's going to be a jannatun arduha samawat. It's going to be about a paradise which there is an eye had never seen. And nobody had thought about it. فَلَمْ تَرَ عَيْنٌ وَلَمْ تَسْمَعْ أُذُنٌ An eye had never seen, an ear had never heard about it. And if you succeed in the hereafter, that's indeed the success comparing to the success of this dunya. All dunya, the entire of this dunya, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in the hadith, that the entire dunya compared to al-akhirah is like a needle was placed into an ocean. Whatever water comes with that needle is equal to the, nothing will come with that needle, is equal to the al-akhirah. That's the comparison between dunya and al-akhirah. And the success, the true success is the success of al-akhirah. Allah says, فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ 
الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازْ Indeed, who is saved from the hellfire? Well, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save me and all of us from the hellfire and to grant us Jannah. Whoever is saved from the hellfire and granted a Jannah, indeed, he has succeeded. Indeed, this life is just a temporary life. It's life that always deceived Al Ghurur, it deceived the people. What about the happiness? Let us compare to the part of happiness. The happiness of the exams of this dunya will last days, hours, weeks. The next time you're going to be happy. It's going to be a temporary. You're going to be having another problems. You will forget about the happiness of passing. But the happiness of the hereafter will last forever. Will last forever. The person who passed the hereafter. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us those who pass hereafter. Those who pass hereafter will be pleased, will be happy for them, the entire, for eternity, forever, they will be happy. And Allah told us they will say, ha Allah says in the Quran, The person who is given his book, his record from his right hand, shows that he has succeeded. He will run, he will put his record in his head, and he will say, come on, read my record. I knew that I'm going to get this. I did, I tried my best in this dunya. He will be in a life, a pleased life forever. He's going to be a life which is pleased forever. He's going to be in a paradise forever. What about the person who fails? If you fail the exams of this dunya, you can do next term. You can take the subject again. You have other chances, you have other careers to pursue, even if you cannot do education, you can do something else. But if you do fail in the hereafter, it's going to be a fail forever. You're going to be in a torment forever. So this is what we need as long, and this is what we need to focus. This is the exam that we need to reflect. Whenever we are taking exams, whenever our children are taking exams, whenever we see people are preparing for exams, we need to ponder. We need to stop there and reflect on another exam that all of us should go, all of us should take. We need to prepare ourselves for that exam. And we need to raise our kids, those who are going to school, to the college, that also there is an exam that's going to be one term exam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us and our children, those who pass the exams of this dunya. Oh Allah makes our children the exams of this dunya very easy for them, inshallah, so they can pass good. Oh Allah make the, an exam of the hereafter which is more important, very easy for all of us, inshallah. Ibadullah, inna Allah amarakum amran bada bi nafsi wa thana bi malaikati wa thalatha bikum ayyuhal mu'minun faqala ta'ala inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun ala nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma akfud lil muslimina wal muslimat wal mu'minina wal mu'minat al ahyai minhum wal amwat arhamna bi rahmatin tughnina biha amma siwak اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر عبادك المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصرهم على القوم الظالمين برحمتك يا عزيز يا كريم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وأقيم الصلاة